creature talks to you. Tell us the factor for the female of the species. Why? Why? You see how simple it is? Shit. Hi, it's Shine, motherfuckers. Here is the fucking news. You are fake news. I am your host, a stimulator, and in the United States, public debates around gun control are once again heating up. You're not getting our firearms. Do you understand? As the nation reels from the emotional and psychological fallout of yet another mass shooting, this time, the tragic Valentine's Day attack Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. The shooter this time around was 19-year-old white nationalist fuck puppet Nicolas Cruz, who walked into his former high school and began indiscriminately firing on students and staff with a swastika engraved AR-15, killing 17 people and injuring at least 14. Before the smoke had even cleared, the sickeningly familiar and macabre ritual of somber post-massacre punditry and shameless politicking was off to the fucking races. You either chicken out or you charge in and you're a hero. It's a cultural issue. Moral blackmail. Military-grade weapons. Oh, no, the, no. The, the shooter did go in the building. And in the building. The teacher was already there. Upon being informed by his handlers that the gunman wasn't a Muslim, black man, or MS-13 member, but just another run-of-the-mill white psycho out to get revenge on the world because he sucked at Call of Duty, hated immigrants, and had hairy palms, the orange one promptly took to his pulpit, first to hopelessly try to pretend he gives a shit about Pete's mental health, and then to try and soothe the frayed nerves of America's traumatized school children. You come into our schools, you're gonna be dead, and it's gonna be fast. Yep, in a hilariously tone-deaf move that at this point should have shocked nobody, but still somehow did. Because let's be real here, who actually fucking says this shit? I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? Oh yeah, almost fucking forgot. Anyway, Trump suggested arming a fifth of all American teachers with guns so that they'll be locked, loaded, and ready to mow down any would-be school shooter next time someone surely tries to shoot up their geography class. I mean... What could go wrong? Chaos broke out at Dalton High School in Dalton, Georgia on Wednesday, when police say a teacher barricaded himself inside an empty classroom and fired a gunshot. Meanwhile, despite their time-honored and remarkably straight-faced regurgitation of NRA talking points, the shit-peddling suits in D.C. weren't able to brush this latest act of wanton fucking attrition under the proverbial rug, as they soon found themselves confronted by a crew of righteously pissed-off teens who had not only survived this latest shooting, but had also summoned up the youthful gumption to point out just how fucked up it is that this shit keeps fucking happening to them. When adults tell me I have the right to own a gun, all I can hear is my right to own a gun outweighs your student's right to live. As a kid, that should nothing ever that horrible should ever have to happen to you. I want to feel safe at school. Seizing on the sympathy evoked in pretty much all rational and decent people by these children's innocent fucking pleas for safety, Democrats and so-called progressives in the U.S. has seized on this latest tragedy to try and once again push for a variety of gun control measures, including stricter background checks and a complete ban on the sale of assault rifles. But while that may seem like a pretty reasonable proposition to most peeps around the world, there's just a couple of fucking problems. First of all, in case you haven't heard, Americans kind of like their guns. Second, the idea of creating a situation where only the pigs have guns is not exactly a solution for making peace safer. Last year, those trigger-happy pieces of shit shot and killed 987 people, far more than all those kills in mass shootings and terrorist acts combined. Can you count, suckers? And let's not forget that California's relatively strict gun control measures passed in 1967 were a plot by Ronnie Reagan to criminalize the Black Panthers community defense patrols, which had been holding shit down in their hood to help keep the racist Oakland 5-0 in check. This action fit within the long history of the United States government limiting black peeps' access to arms in order to ensure the dominance of the nation's white supremacist power structure. So while it makes sense that white liberals who expect the cops to have their back might be down with gun control, 
Black and brown peeps and revolutionaries of all motherfucking stripes should think twice about how this shit would actually play out in practice. As arch globalist and three time battle of the bone Prussian chicken wing eating champion Karl Marx famously stated, The harming of the whole proletariat for trifles, guns, and ammunition should be carried out at once. And should the bourgeois state come for the proletariat's guts, the Poles' response shall be black, black, black. Several anarchists and other anti-capitalist revolutionary crews in the United States are once again beginning to get more familiar with using guns. This is a necessary and long overdue development that opens the doors for meaningful projects of revolutionary autonomy and community defense. As for the problem of these horrific mass shootings, I don't have any quick solutions and I don't think there are fucking any. At the end of the day, the United States is a complete fucking dumpster fire of a society with tens of thousands of people just one rough day away from opening fire on their co-workers. I don't want lunch. I want breakfast. Yeah, well, hey, I'm really sorry. Yeah, well, hey, I'm really sorry too. Get a gun! <laughs> I mean, shit, your former vice president shot his friend in the fucking face and nobody said shit. Y'all are just fucked. Sorry. Keep safe and best of luck. Well, that's all the fucking news for this week. Until next time, and don't forget to throw me some taco money at sub.media slash donate. And be sure to follow me on all your favorite corporate brainwashing and mass surveillance platforms. Just search for Stimulator. Hasta la pasta, compañeras.